This is the Bestec Cubis. Uh, it's a knife that's not quite out yet, uh, but man, it is fine. This was sent to me by Bestec to check out, and I've really fallen for it. I'm not much of a cleaver guy, uh, as you may know, but I could really fall in love with this cleaver. It's got a beautiful point, beautiful blade shape, wonderful ergonomics, and this gorgeous teal um, canvas micarta. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference between this green green down here and this blue green here, uh, but oh man, I, I have to be careful not to handle this too much. This is not my knife, and I don't want to uh, patina this uh, because I know it's going to look so good when it does. Um, but yeah, so the Cubis is a cleaver-shaped blade. This is in the more budget arena for Best Tech. This is a D2 blade. And um, they, Best Tech, they, man, they have their finger in everything. They do a lot of in-house stuff, uh, ranging from uh, high-end budget stuff like this and then uh, all the way to high-end um, production uh, models of their own designs using uh, much higher-end materials and more complicated designs and designers like Kombu. Um, and then they do all this tremendous OEM work for other companies, uh, many of them, too many to, to list here. And uh, so I'm, I'm very impressed by Best Tech. I love their knives and I really um, respect their output and the work they've done uh, for others uh, as OEM manufacturer. Okay, so let's look at this uh, D2. I love the, the vertical sort of machine satin, those grind lines on this uh, just look really good. That tip is uh, very functional. It's gonna be great for, uh, for cutting and for draw cutting and utility pull cutting. And you do have quite a bit of meat behind that tip uh, because this is a flat ground uh, blade. And oftentimes when I see a blade that looks like this, I really want a hollow grind, but this is nice and thin and uh, it's slicey. It's thin behind this edge here, but it does wedge up quite a bit to give you some uh, some meat for for splitting and, and uh, you know, splitting apart cardboard and, and zip ties and that kind of cutting. It's very nice looking. Uh, it looks nice closed. It reminds me of a Greg Lightfoot design when closed. Um, I love that. Uh, I love that blade shape. Best Tech is pretty good with uh, not doing too much on the blade. That's their logo. And then they have their little proprietary uh, logo there on the pivot. Very nice. You got uh, skeletonized liners in there to keep it light. It does have a light feel. It is pretty wide. It's a standard sort of, I think this is going to be maybe even a little bit more than standard. Feels a little bit thick with those um, luxurious micarta scales. I don't often bust this thing out, but I'm curious. Uh, let's see, inches. Yeah, 0 0.55. I, I usually consider 0 0.5 to be standard. I knew this was eh, just a little bit thicker, um, but it feels great in hand and might be something you want because it's rather, um, you know, it's not very tall this way. You have this really nice uh, gradual chamfering here that, that gives it a luxurious feel and it also just takes the edge off for your fingers wrapping around that handle, otherwise it would feel squarish. So the ergonomics on this are just so nice, either here or you can choke up and come up here. Um, you've got your deep carry pocket clip, you do have those uh, rounded screws protruding up into the passageway. You can see that's a, uh, looks like a G10 backspacer here, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, just really excellent fit and finish that you've come to expect from Best Tech. I like this knife, the Cubis. They have some other knives designed by Kombu um, in their higher tier that have similar blade shapes to this. Um, so I could see why they might want to make a knife like this 
a little bit more in reach if you don't want to spend the high dollars on uh, the high design you get something similar and something very utilitarian but also i mean that's got some panache right that's a nice design let's see it uh let's see it next to a couple of others here here it is with the uh, kubi knives vagrant kind of a similar edc uh, style knife this is in thunderhead blue as i like to call it that grayish blue and here it is with the Civivi um, Hadros similar also in type and you know similar blade well very different blade actually but uh, with that same sort of point and a couple others the first one that came to mind was the most most excellent also best tech made off-grid knives cleaver version two this thing is awesome this is the best cardboard cutter i have I, I i have to say in the folding realm this is the best cardboard cutter i have i mean it's awesome um so i i kind of thought immediately of that both made by best tech this of course is an in-house best tech design uh under their shingle uh but this one was made for carry orifice and off-grid knives there and man, both are awesome. Here it is with the Sen Cut. Uh, what is this? The Bronte. Bronte. And then the Main Street Mini. Bigger, bigger knife, but uh, kind of these all sort of uh, fill a similar utility purpose to me. So, uh, yeah, I really like this. Uh, check this out. It's not out quite yet. I think this will be out very shortly probably right after Blade, early summer. Um, but it is just 100% drop shut, super ultra smooth. And man, look at that beautiful, beautiful um, aquamarine micarta. I can't get enough of that. I hope they do other knives with this very same micarta. Oh, look at that blade. Very, very nice. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.